Hiya. Yeah. Today I'll give you 10 tips on what stocks invest for your kids' eyes. And it's a weekend. I'll show you this amazing 10 companies. But for now, I need to entertain my kids. So see you soon. <laughs> At times you have to entertain your kids, you have to show face and show up. And come on guys, what's this color? Okay. Hi, welcome back to Family Investment and today I'm going to speak about the top 8 stocks or investment that you can invest for your kids at a very young age. But most importantly, the message I'm trying to portray in this video today is why you should invest stocks and shares for your child as early as possible. Reason number one is the compounding effect. The sooner you invest, the sooner the money will double, triple, grow. So number two, because you can do it as low as possible, even as low as the amount of 50 pounds a month. And by the time they hit the age of 18, you'll be surprised how much money you can save over time. So now let's get back to the more exciting ground on the eight investment potential that and to be honest this is no particular order i know i said eight top eight but it's no particular order but i'm just going to present to you as you go along you can pick and choose so the first one first one in 2020 that changed my mindset that i would like to go for an etf i share clean energy i think with the peak oil demand declining from 2020 onwards i think buying oil companies is not great anymore for long term green renewable energy it's hard to pick and choose because there are loads of companies still starting up. So let's go for the ETF, Exchange Traded Fund. I share clean energy and I'm confident that you can get this all over the world in UK, US, in Canada, in Australia, and Singapore because it's an iShare ETF by BlackRock. That encourages green energy company renewables and there's a good chance of a great exponential growth in the next 10 years at least. So I share global clean energy. The next one, the next one, number two, again, in no particular order, is the global stock. Low cost is key. Like in the UK, there's a legal and general international trust index. That's the one that I buy for my own kids. I encourage friends and families and my clients in the UK to go buy this one for your kids. It's a no brainer. I think the fees is as low as 0.1%. I need to double check. I might put it up here when I edit my video, but it's as low as 0.1% or 0.2%. It's really, really low. Low cost is the key. Don't buy heavy, expensive funds. It's always good to have a diversified um, uh, global stock. And it's one of those that you can perhaps buy every month on a really no fees basis with your broker. Global index trust fund that you have, which is low cost. If you live in the UK and looking for a UK stock and shares ISA broker, please do check out Hargreave Langston. It is what I use and I recommend it to you and your family. I use it for my wife, my kids and everyone building a wealth portfolio. And it's amazing, high security, very intuitive and very great knowledge learning platform. Click on the link below to sign up today, free of charge and build your journey today. Okay, the next one, number three, my kids love this company. You know this company, it might be a no brainer. It's obviously Disney. Disney the company, Disney the brand. Look at the company, COVID-19, all the parks are closed, cinemas are closed, the company will survive. The companies will come at the end. They've made over a couple of billion pounds, revenue loss, but it's still surviving because of the brand. People have still put money in it. The stocks hasn't fallen that much, 30% out so say, and now it's recovered again. Disney is still a brand, it's a mega brand. Even the COVID-19 can't take it away, nothing else will take it away. The company who, who cherish their reputation really well, who make sure they portray uh, their reputation to the company outside, to the people that, you know, they're doing a part for the economy. They want to be here for the next 100 years. So Disney is a company that you should invest in. Not great on dividends, but still, it's a great for long-term growth. They're always ever expanding. So Disney is number three that I would like to encourage you to put for any portfolio. It's one of the most popular in any stocks and shares kids portfolio. And the next one, number four. Number four, again, a big company. It will never go away. Great cash flow, low debt, always ever changing the face of the world as Apple. Apple phone. I've got an Apple phone here. My kids will be using Apple iPads. And soon, Apple Watch, iWatch. And this company keeps innovating keep innovating. Apple as a company, like I said, great uh, balance sheet, great cash flow, and great low debt, paying dividends, very, very low, but still, they're always aiming for growth. They're 
always aiming for growth. So Apple is something that you should uh, put in your portfolio. It's not a cheap stock, but perhaps you need to save a certain amount before you can put a lump sum down. But it's easy because Apple stocks go up and down. It's easy to always buy on the down, average downwards. So every time an Apple stock dip, boom, go buy it. That's how easy you can invest on Apple stock. And number five, number five, social media king. Social media king equals to advertisement king. Facebook. You're using Facebook today, you're watching this video on Facebook, and most probably your kids will be watching Facebook videos using Facebook for shopping, maybe Facebook for their future internet purposes, because Facebook is still ever changing. Facebook artificial intelligence, they might find their next job on Facebook. That's where Facebook is going. It's not just a platform where you post a picture for your family, but it's going to be ended up as an online shop, an e-commerce shop, a place where they might find their job, a place where they might set up to sell the secondhand goods, and a place they might set up their future marketing business campaign. That is what Facebook is about, and that is where Facebook will be going for the next 10 years and the next 20 years. Okay. And, and number six, again, in no particular order, is LVMH, big European mega brand, Louis Vuitton, Maud Hennessy. And they hold other brands like Chanel, Tiffany's, and all the big brands, big drinks, big clothing, big jewelry. Brands will never go down, like Disney. Brands like Louis Vuitton will be there for a long, long time. And the great thing about Louis Vuitton is high profit margin on their goods. And the fact that they are prices, goods of the same class bag will grow up in it by inflation year on year on year. So now for the number seven, let's go more technology again. Technology, AI, cloud computing, uh, future hardware. It's called NVIDIA. NVIDIA is one of my favorite stock. I have always want buying for my kids, myself. NVIDIA is a company that's still ever growing. I cannot see where this, uh, this cycle will end. I think the cycle has just started. And uh, Nvidia stock can be one of those very volatile ones. But again, buy it on the low, keep it, it dips down again, average on the low. So just buy it when you have got big lumps of money. Nvidia, I can be assured that this will be sending this stock will be sending my kids to uh, uh, university of their choice in the future. And the last one, the last one, I've just written it down because I thought about it. I've been thinking, what brand? What are the brands that can be? Nike. Nike is one, not just a brand, but a very innovative company. When I say innovative, they're not go down. They are there to innovate. They're not afraid to fight with their competition. Like for example, recently Nike announced, uh, about three months ago, well before Christmas, Nike announced um, subscription fees for shoes. So if you got a child, you subscribe with Nike for $7.99 or $12.99, Nike will send you a pair of shoes for your infant, for your child. And every three months, you send a size up. For every three months, you send a new size up. So you don't have to go to the shops to buy new shoes. That Nike will always send you a pair of new shoes that suits your child's feet because your child's ever growing. Okay, so I hope you like this presentation um, and I uh, hope that uh, changes your mindset. Any questions, leave below. Anything else that you want to share that you think that I might have missed out, please share as well below. So, see you. Have a good day. If you like, remember to go on my Facebook. And also, if you want to support my channel, do please do go to my patreon page okay have a good day i better go and uh join my kids i think they're building a, a castle in the house somewhere i'm gonna go join them now so have a good day bye